Hey guys, how you guys doing? This is uh, T.O. Warren Hands, and <clears throat> today I am going to be uh, doing an experiment. That experiment is going to be involving uh, the base plate of what I purchased yesterday, which was the original Hellcat. Um, now this is, it, it says it's a 13 round magazine, but I am right now under the assumption that this is the 11 round magazine for the original Hellcat. And the original Hellcat <clears throat> um, had a, right, it had, it pretty much, you had 11 rounds for the original Hellcat, okay? Now, this is where I'm speculating. I'm looking at the 15 round magazine for my Hellcat Pro, okay? And this isn't loaded, so it's not loaded, um, okay? So, now, this is the Hellcat Pro, okay? So, this 15-round magazine and this supposed to be 13-round magazine, um, I believe it's really an 11-round magazine. All right, and I'm going to go into detail about that. So, as you can tell, all right, I'm going to do it metal to metal, okay? So, forget the base place. Just take the base place out of the equation, all right? Let's go metal to metal, okay? Metal to metal, as you can probably see, at fit at fourteen fifteen, <clears throat> and at twelve and thirteen, metal to metal, the holes don't match up. All right, but that fifteen, that fourteen fifteen hole on my fifteen magazine matches up with the ten. 11 holes okay so <laughs> this is gonna be my experiment today i'm 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 in an, i'm i'm uh what you would call a engineer scientist you know whatever but i just like using my hands and um not just you know like testing out new things but also uh looking at old things and in this case, all right, so even if I was to try to put 16 rounds into this one magazine, I can't do it. Like, there is no way for me to put 16 rounds in this magazine. Like, like it's, it's really, like, you just, you, I, like, I don't know if anybody else can do it, but I can't get 16 rounds in this in this magazine. I can't I can't do it. But for some reason, look at all of that space between the 14, 15, and so on. Okay. That's the space that you need to get 15 rounds in this magazine. Now metal to metal, like I say again, the 12 and the 13 rounder is down here within that space on the 15 round magazine and you look at all of the other spaces okay look at all the other spaces the 9 and 8 is matching up the 10 and 11 is matching up with the 7 and the 8 so you're looking at these spaces and you're starting to see you, you see a pattern between these spots right here. 
all right now as you can see and this is the way that the magazines are designed when you get to this portion of the magazine you know as the cartridges start to come down they have to you know come down and go like this right they're going like that so so this they're still matching up at the same spot it's just that we're working from metal to metal from the base plates okay now it's got me thinking like well wait a minute so this just got to be the 11 rounder <laughs> And Springfield decided to put 12 and 13 on this magazine because of this base plate. So they call this the 13 round magazine when in actuality, you know, instead of like, you know, well, we're just going to make a longer 13 round magazine you know, and put a base plate that way, you know, a flat base plate like the 15 rounder, they decided, well, instead of, you know, going through all that trouble with, you know, trying to make uh, longer magazines, let's just get some, just get some base plates and blah, blah, boom, you have a 13 round magazine. On the flip side, it's like, well, if I already, you know, if I owned a Hellcat and I already had the 13 round magazines, I can go ahead and take that base plate off and, you know, make a 17 round magazine for my Hellcat Pro. I was just thinking like, you know, well, maybe I, you know, I, I wanted to try and get on par instead of buying the X Macro, I wanted to try and get on par with, you know, the X Macro, the Glock 17, you know, carry as much rounds. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm a round whore. Um, you know, I get around, get around, round, 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 uh, <laughs> So, I love a lot of rounds. If I can pack as many rounds in this gun as possible, I will. So, the thing today, all right, now we didn't get through the introduction. Uh, we're going to try and get um, 18 rounds into this Hellcat Pro. This small, slim Hellcat Pro. Very, very slim because it is really really slim um like very slim i enjoy it because it doesn't weigh anything and you know so forth um uh when printing happens it's like what print so, and just for, you know, fun, I'm, I'm doing this for fun. I'm not doing this to, you know, tell anyone like, you know, hey, you should do this. No, this is purely for scientific research. I'm not telling anyone that they should, you know, mess with their gun or anything, you know, so um, I'm doing this on my own. Uh, I'm not getting paid by anybody, so forth, all that good stuff. Okay, there it goes. I don't know why it was so hard for me to get that base plate off. Okay. <coughs> hmm. I think... Looks like the springs are almost the same. That's weird. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna take this thing off, slide it around like so.
Maybe I'm gonna think this magazine cost me like 40 bucks. So I am purely nice. It's great. I guess we can just go ahead and just. Make sure we don't lose this base plate. <laughs> right back click. Okay. That is definitely under pressure. Yikes. And mind you guys, um, I'm actually being safe, so. Um, you know, springs are under pressure, so I guess don't try this at home. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's gonna find out. Even if I was to, like, <clears throat> <clears throat> even if I was to, like, have this, um, put this as part of my EDC rotation, um, I don't know, I'd probably have this as, like, a backup mag. Okay, we are getting down to fifteen rounds. Okay. All right, so we are now currently at 15 rounds and no, wait a minute. No, we are at 16 rounds. Let's count it there. So this will actually be the 17th round. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's that looks good. Um, and let's do a test. Let's do a reliability a, a, a reliability test. Just love. See how it just, yeah, like that's great. Hmm. <laughs> just love that. Okay, so I guess what I'm gonna do is um, for the test of you know making sure that the spring actually cycles. Um, uh, again, these are all snap caps, so, um, I am not using live ammo. Um, so, I guess we can cycle through, and this is how, this is how that looks. Um, not bad. 
That's not bad. It's like sticking out. It's not sticking out much, but again, like that's that's not bad. Here, let me see if I can zoom in. Uh, no, I can't zoom in. But <clears throat> yeah, that's that's not bad. Okay, so cycle through. All right. All right, that's one. That's two. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, and then step open. <laughs> so it cycled all 18 rounds. All 18 rounds were put through the gun and uh, through the Hellcat Pro, and they uh, it passed with flying colors. So, yeah, this might be a part of my become part of my EDC. Um, who knows? But you know, I'll never tell. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the comparison between um, this is my MMP. I mean, you know, pretty sure you guys can see the MMP. Uh, this one holds 17 rounds. And, um, well, they're on point with it. The height are, you know, pretty similar. Um, the MMP just, you know, I don't know. It's, I don't know if they're the same as far as one is skinnier than the other one, but uh, they're both metal, so um, I don't know. But both the same height um, as you can possibly tell let's see here they're both the same I want to say the same height so yeah if you can tell from that angle anywho um you um, for checking out my video like and subscribe and um, um, I'm not um, affiliated with anyone or um, I'm not um, getting paid for this uh, I use my own money to uh, purchase these items uh, purchase this item Again, I'm just doing this solely based off of, you know, to see if it can be done. Um, science is science engineering. That's that's my thing. So. Um, so, yeah, this is this is really cool. I like this. Anyway, um, like and subscribe and um, take care, guys.